Hello, this is Kevin with 3G Store, and today we're going to be taking a look at the IP power switch and how you can set up and use GTalk to configure your device remotely. There are a few things that we have to set up first. I have my CradlePoint MVR95 with a USB modem for my internet access. I have my IP switch plugged in with the Ethernet cable, and I also have my laptop I'm going to use to configure this. Once you have your IP switch and laptop on the same network, the first thing to do is go to 3gstore.com slash IP switch updates. I've already created a shortcut for that for myself, but you can just type that in your browser. The first thing you have to do is go down to utility and select that software and download it. The utility is going to be what you use to access the IP switch, install firmware updates, and load the admin interface. With this downloaded, we're going to run it and do the setup. There isn't anything fancy you have to do here. I'm just leaving everything at the default. Unless you need to make changes, you can leave that as it is. There it goes. Once the utility application is installed, you're going to go ahead and click on your start menu and select utility to launch the application. The utility software then will automatically start searching for the IP switch on your network. The utility software will automatically detect your switch. It'll show you the serial number, the MAC address, and IP address that your router has assigned to it. First thing we need to look at here is make sure that you're running the correct firmware version. If you have one of the new ISP switches from us, you're going to already be on the correct firmware, but if you're upgrading from an older version, make sure you're on this newest version. If you are running an older version of the firmware, 3gstore.com slash IP switch updates. We have the latest firmware listed. You can click the appropriate device and select download. Once you have the new firmware downloaded in the utility, you can click firmware upgraded, browse to the file you've downloaded, and hit download. This is going to upgrade your IP switch to the GTalk version. Now that the IP switch is set up and ready to use Google Talk, there are a couple other requirements. You will need two separate Gmail accounts, a master account to control all of your IP switches with, and each IP switch you have is going to require a Gmail account of its own. You can use your existing Google account or create new ones. Just go to gmail.com and create new accounts and you're going to be ready to go. Once that's taken care of, you're ready to install the Google Talk software. Now that you have your Gmail accounts set up, head over to google.com slash talk to download the software. Click download Google Talk and save it to your computer and run it with its preferred settings. Now you're ready to return to your utility application. You're going to go ahead and click launch web user interface and it's going to bring you to a web browser asking for authentication. The password is the word admin and it defaults to that and there is no password. So you can go ahead and type that in and click OK. This is the web interface now for your IP switch. So you can see the way that it's connected and you can see all of the statuses on there. We're just going to walk through Google Talk right now. So on the left, go ahead and click Google Talk. And what you're going to do is switch your status from offline to online. That lets the switch know that we're ready. Login ID is the Gmail address that you set up for your sub account for the switch. So I'll go ahead and put in the address that I've created for mine. And then I'm also going to go ahead and put in the password I made for this account. The next step is going to be add in your master account under add contact accounts. You'll notice you can put more than one account in here so multiple different people can access one switch. I'm just going to use my regular Gmail account and I'll go ahead on the bottom and click apply. So what it's going to do now is say that these settings have been saved and it's going to run through a couple different setup things. On the top now it says it is signing in reset to default and in just a few seconds it'll tell us that we are signed in. Now remember you do need an active connection to the internet for this to work. Now the IP switch is set up with the correct firmware. We have both of our Gmail accounts ready and the IP switch is set. Next step now is going to be to launch the Google Talk software that we downloaded and sign in with your master account name. I already have that filled in so I'm just going to go ahead and click sign in. If this is the first time that you're signing into GTalk with your IP switch active, you're going to have an invitation to add them to your contacts list. Go ahead and click accept. I've already done this, so it just shows me now that my IP switch is online and available. When you click on the name of your IP switch, it'll bring up a chat window where you can issue commands. I'm going to zoom in a little bit here so you can see exactly what the IP switch responds with. 
The most basic command you can send to your IP switch is the word help. Help is going to give you the list of commands you can type to it, so you don't have to try and remember them at all times. It gives us the options for get IP, set the switches on and off, and the UIS feature. One of the options you have is set on one, and when you click enter, the IP switch will respond with done. And what that does is it tells your IP switch that you want to turn outlet one on. The other option you have is set off one. Same thing when you click enter, the IP switch responds and it lets you know that you want to turn outlet one off. Over the internet, you can now control which outlets have power by hand. One of the other useful options you have is get status. When you hit enter, the IP switch will respond. It tells you which websites the IP switch is looking for to ensure it has connectivity to the internet. And since we have turned outlet one off, it tells us that it is set off currently. Another useful option you have is get IP. And what this is going to do is tell you the local area network that your IP switch is connected to, as well as the external IP address of your router. You can control as many IP switches as you want with one master account. So as many IP switches as you can fit into your contacts list, you can control all at once using the Google Talk feature. For more information, visit 3gstore.com slash IP switch. And for more videos like this, be sure to subscribe to our channel. Thank you.